environmental problems set in motion will require enormous efforts to correct. While the task that confronts us is monumental, the effort requires mobilization of our collective courage and ingenuity. Our political and social organizations encompass ideas of democracy, economy, equity, and social justice. These ideals require resurgence of education and an effort to make them work for humanity. There are global examples where these ideas work. In Porto Alegre, Brazil, the people decide the budget. As a result, literacy and environmental conditions have improved, and the people are involved and happier. The Grameen Bank in India allows impoverished people to begin their own enterprise without collateral. In Gaivatas, Colombia, South America, a community started in the desert has returned the land to full productivity and economic self-sufficiency using non-polluting technologies. There are non-polluting energy producing technologies. There are substances that will reduce our dependence on those that are detrimental to health and the environment. There is invention that has been suppressed as a result of the profit motive that applied would free us to improve our condition. The question is, will we be able to stop the clock on the impending catastrophe? This project will deal with the global situation and those steps that many of us believe must be taken to embrace a new path for the human family. The key to the issues mentioned is a new understanding of power. The issue of power to rather than power over. The underlying motive of power and control must give way to a human awareness that smaller is better, more manageable, culturally respectful, and focused on addressing the everyday issues of human survival as a whole, rather than ensuring the survival of a few. We survive as the human family, or not at all. The future is not ours, but belongs to our children. If we do nothing else, we must give them the education, systems, and technology to survive. We have the choice of watching the impending disaster from our corporate towers, as those poor unfortunates did in the World Trade Center as the planes approached. We have the choice, and it's the people who must choose existence. Whomever pollutes the air, the water, the soil, will pollute it for the world.